Okay, hey everyone, QB King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here with another breaking news story uh, on, with regards to Carrier IQ. Unfortunately, it's not very good news, but it is something that should get you all fired up and hopefully you can hopefully send this video out, get some more awareness about CIQ, etc. But um, if you haven't seen my first video on Carry IQ, I, uh, basically I would really recommend you watch it before watching this video. I'll link that in the description of the video. Otherwise, if you have seen it, definitely uh, be sure you pay close attention because I will probably refer to my last video. But anyways, um, in my last video I talked about people that have removed Carry IQ from certain devices and how it's becoming a very big issue for users with mobile phones. And Trevi is one of them. His real name is Trevor Eckhart, as you can see right there. Uh, but anyway, Carrier IQ actually sent him a cease and desist demand right here. So uh, they took, they're took they deciding to take legal action. Um, they're threatening to sue him, Trevi, as well. So uh, as you can see, this stuff is getting very serious. Um, so I'm definitely going to keep you guys updated and report to you as uh, more information comes. But as you can see, um, he has a cease and desist, desist letter. Um, it talks about many different things. There's actually a nice article at XDA um, right here. I'll link that in the description of the video as well. Eggs Thunder One has posted this. So a uh, very nice article. Be sure to check that article out as well. But either way, um, he has a cease and desist demand, and I'm actually, I haven't heard anything about from Conan if, about a cease and desist either, so I'm not sure if they're sending him one as well, but I know Trevi for sure has one, obviously. But anyways, uh, to summarize this, um, I'm actually quoting from the article from Egg Thunder, so definitely uh, keep that in mind, but basically they are accusing him of using and redistributing copyrighted and confidential materials without authorization uh, aka piracy and also they are demanding that he posts a public apology stating that all of his findings were essentially wrong and he has nothing but good things to say about carrier iq so that right there should uh throw up some red flags the article also says the letter also goes on to say that he uh, has about 24 hours to comply or else he will be sued by a large sum which includes monetary damages court fees and other legal related costs so a very serious letter to receive um, over something like this, especially because it's his device. He basically can point out whatever it's doing if he wants to. Um, it's definitely a blank threat, in my opinion. It seems, this is all my opinion, but it seems like uh, they're just trying to scare him off and um, the Carry IQ really needs to come clean about what they can and cannot collect and what they uh, do and do not collect. Uh, definitely something that needs to be distributed to the public and public awareness needs to happen right now. Thankfully, uh, Trevi got in contact with the Electronic Frontier Foundation and they basically, what they do is protect uh, rights, promote freedom on the electronic frontier. So anything related to electronics, uh, they uh, responded and are representing Trevi and they have sent a reply and said, uh, basically, as you know, uh, they are representing Trevor Eckhart, Trevi, uh, and basically what they are saying is that uh, just, just kind of, they reviewed what the cease and desist letter has said as well as just kind of saying this is all blank uh, threats. Uh, basically the First Amendment just kind of uh, protects Trevi from any serious infringement issues, any copyright issues, but I mean, he really has nothing, I, in my opinion, nothing to really worry about, but it's definitely something that I'm really surprised Curie IQ decided to take this route and uh, really gotten into this false allegations, as you can see. Um, and just kind of, it's really low, to be honest. I really would rather them just come clean and uh, be open and honest with us. It might make a stronger relationship as well as our manufacturers and um, our carriers as well coming clean with their use of carrier IQ. It's definitely, we need to get an opt-out option so we don't have to deal with this at all. It's something that needs to happen. So we need to get this out everywhere. Please spread this video around. Please spread my other carrier IQ video around. Or do you want to send the article around, the cease and desist letter, anything. Just please post everywhere, every forum, every 
uh, but any news place everywhere, just please get this uh, around just so people know that it's a serious issue with cell phones and it needs to be addressed now. So uh, as I said, um, hopefully, I'll keep you guys updated with this uh, whole legal business, but hopefully uh, Trevi is gonna be just just fine and safe based on uh, just how Carrier IQ really has no basis for their cease and desist. So I'm hoping that everything goes well for Trevor Eckhart. I I'm fully support what he does, definitely trying to uh, get the message out about Carrier IQ and just letting everyone know what they have uh, their messages and what they're trying to do. Uh, but anyways, as I said, please send this around. Uh, subscribe to me as well. I'll be posting future updated news videos as well on the Carry IQ issue. Um, just please send this video around, send my other video around. I'd really appreciate it as well as uh, I definitely feel like we need to get more awareness about this issue. But anyways, uh, be sh thanks for watching guys. Uh, be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and you support what I'm saying as well as just the news I'm bringing to you as how Carry IQ this needs to become aware. But anyways, just thank you for watching.